I, I had no idea. I thought that was the final version. I didn't know or I wouldn't have installed it. I would have waited. Good morning, YouTube. Cruise man here. And I am just uh, getting ready to head back home from a different Einstein's this morning. Can anybody tell me where I am? If you've been watching my motor vlogs for more than a year or two, you probably can. Because I am at the Einstein's that I used to go to every day for several years. And this is in Capel, Texas. It's a little bit farther, a little bit longer ride for me. I haven't been here in quite a while. And today I just thought I'd change it up, you know, go somewhere a little different. You probably wonder, why do I go to Einstein's Bagels? Well, maybe you don't wonder that. I don't know why anybody would care. But, uh, I... It's not like I eat a bagel every day. I actually only eat one maybe once every couple of weeks. Uh, because I kind of try to do a low-carb diet or lifestyle. And I like their coffee. They used to have much, much better coffee than they do now because a few years ago they were they sold out to another company, a coffee company, and they use their coffee now. And I don't particularly like their coffee, but it's better than Star. I can't drink Starbucks. I am not on Team Starbucks at all. I think it's bitter and way too strong for me. Now, some of you like dark roast coffee. Uh, I get that. Are you in the? Are you on Team Starbucks? I'm just curious. If you're a coffee drinker, where do you go for coffee, or what coffee do you like? Put that in the comments down below. I don't think we've ever talked about that on this channel. But I am a coffee drinker. I drink three or four cups every morning, and. Uh, I'm just not crazy. I just can't drink Starbucks coffee. I've tried. I've gone there a few times. Number one, it's really expensive. And uh, it just it just doesn't do anything for me. So I'd be curious to know if you guys are if you're coffee drinkers. Now I know some of my British uh, followers. Some of you guys over in the UK probably are tea drinkers and not coffee drinkers. But nevertheless, please let me know in the comments down below uh, which coffee you prefer. So it's uh, pretty heavy traffic right now. It's about 8.20 in the morning, so we are in the uh, height of morning traffic. So it's going to be uh, a little bit... Uh, more hectic than usual and Coppell is a pretty popular place now we had some fog this morning so the streets are a little slick they've got just that real real thin uh, coating of moisture on the street you can even maybe see a little moisture on my windshield I'm not sure if you can see that or not with this GoPro and, you know, I wanted to kind of use this GoPro 10 a few times before I talked about it. Um, I know not all of you are motor vloggers, and I know that most of you probably don't own a GoPro or an action camera at all. But if you do, or if you're in the market for an action camera, now that I've used this GoPro 10 for... Uh, a few weeks I also took it on a couple of cruises and tried it out there honestly I can't tell a huge difference for what I do between this and the GoPro Hero 8 I think that Hero 8 black uh, for the money for sure you can still buy them and I think for the money it's the best 
uh, action camera you can get. One thing about this GoPro 10, I'll tell you what I really like about it. If I was a vlogger, meaning if I were walking around with a selfie stick and, you know, videotaping myself, and I do that a little bit sometimes in the garage, not very often, but sometimes I do that. I do like the front-facing screen because you can kind of frame the shot. You can see where you are in the shot. For motovlogging, that I never use it. it does, it's irrelevant. And I guess if I had a GoPro 10 on my handlebar, I could use it to kind of frame the shot. But if I set it to a wide angle, it really is irrelevant. It's going to be pretty much... Once you set it, you forget it kind of thing. What I don't like about it is, number one, it's a little bit heavier. It's a little bit chunkier and heavier. It has a bigger battery than the Hero 8. And it uh, and the battery doesn't last as long. It doesn't seem like it has the battery life that the Hero 8 has. Now, for my purposes, for motor vlogging, that's not a huge issue because I usually don't, uh, record more than say 20 30 minutes at a time and the battery will last 20 or 30 minutes however if I'm on a road trip say going to Midland or going to Tulsa or going wherever I'm going I may want to start and stop recording several times during the day and battery life can become an issue. Now, I guess, I, you, you know, you could argue, well, just carry an extra battery. And then you can uh, always swap out the battery. But I never had to do that with the GoPro 8. And plus, the price. You know, it's just a more expensive camera. And I can't tell. I'm shooting 1080p. I don't shoot 4K on my motor vlogs. I may start doing that. I've done it a couple of times. I can't really see that it uh, makes a huge difference for what we do. If I'm on a cruise ship and I'm uh, videotaping, uh, let's say, for example, if I were in Galapagos and I was using my GoPro outside in Galapagos, I'd absolutely shoot in 4K or 5K. And that's going to reduce that battery life even more so that's a concern but they just announced a new kind of a heavy duty long life uh, battery I can't remember what they call it like enduro battery or something it's white and it's supposed to be uh, it's supposed to last longer than this battery so I may order one of those they're only like 20 24 dollars something like that so I think I'll order one of those and give it a try too but I'm using the GoPro 10 on my helmet and I'm using the GoPro 8 on my handlebar and I may get another GoPro 10 and sell this GoPro 8. I sold my other GoPro 8. I have not heard back from the gentleman I shipped it to so I'm hoping he received it in good condition and is using it and enjoying it. I enjoyed it. It was a good camera. I did want to update you on the belly, pa uh, belly pan skid plate drama that's uh, currently playing out because I think I told you that the uh, 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 skid plate, he calls it a skid plate, we used to call them belly pans, uh, but the basically the, the metal sheet that goes underneath your engine to protect your engine from debris. Uh, the gentleman that uh, designed that uh, pan or sheet, uh, I've been in communication with him. I've received several emails from him. Um, as you know, it's sold through Wing Stuff, and he is making some design changes, and apparently it's still going through some iterations. Um, I have also uh, emailed a couple times with Max. I know that he's working on his design, and I have seen a video that Max put out on his, which looks pretty substantial. Um, so I can, I'm anxious to get the final version of both of these in here so I can install them and really give you a fair uh, analysis. Now when I did my first video on the wing stuff belly pan or skid plate as he calls it 
I, I had no idea. I thought that was the final version. I didn't know or I wouldn't have installed it. I would have waited. And since then, I've actually received a couple of others. So I'm waiting until I get the final version. I also have a company that reached out to me the other day uh, with a portable tire inflator. And just so you know, I get probably a dozen, I'd say at least a dozen emails a week from companies wanting to send me products to review and have me do a video on. And honestly, uh, there's just no time to... I've I had this discussion with Memphis Mike one time. You know, he was getting overwhelmed with these things too. And I just can't, I just don't have time. And a lot of the stuff is not very good quality. And some of it doesn't even apply to motorcycles. Some of it's just off the wall stuff. They want you to review a Christmas tree light or something. I mean, get serious. So, but this, this little portable tire inflator, I thought, looked interesting. It looked like something that uh, might be of interest if it's any good. So, I uh, should be getting that in pretty soon. And uh, maybe next week I'll have a chance to review that. And uh, several of you uh, watched my tool video where I talk about the 10 tools I thought you needed to have to work on a motorcycle. And a lot of you have purchased that little Bosch portable cordless drill that I have, and I love that thing. And I forgot to mention in that video that, and I've mentioned it to you in the past, so you probably already knew this, I carry that with me on a road trip with a few drill bits just in case I get a nail or something in one of my tires. Rather than using a tire reamer to put a plug in, I'll use that drill and it works like a charm. I've used it before and it, it just works great. So thanks for joining me for this little ride today home from my coffee. Nothing too exciting, just uh, thought we'd have a chat. So again, thanks for joining me. I'll see you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs.